The suspected poisoning of Alexei Navalny, the Russian politician and opposition leader, is only the latest such incident to involve critics of the Kremlin. There's a long history there of mysterious fates. Let's go through some of the notable cases, starting in 1978. And certainly now we're regarding it as a murder inquiry, yes. Georgi Markov was the centre of the infamous poison umbrella case of the Cold War. He was a Bulgarian writer who defected to the West, believed to be jabbed with a poisoned umbrella on London's Waterloo Bridge. The holes could have contained the poison and been coated with a slow dissolving wax. The assassin could have fired the pellet from such an umbrella. In 2004, Viktor Yushchenko, then a Ukrainian opposition leader, was also poisoned. He said it happened during a dinner outside Kiev. He was campaigning for the presidential election on a pro-Western ticket. He survived but was left disfigured. Doctors found that his body contained 1,000 times more dioxin than normal. Two years later was the death of Alexander Litvinenko, an ex-KGB agent and outspoken critic of Vladimir Putin. He died after drinking green tea laced with polonium-210, a rare and potent radioactive element, at London's Millennium Hotel. A British inquiry concluded that the killing was likely to have been authorised at the highest levels of power. It was probably approved by Mr Petruchev, then head of the FSB, and also by President Putin. In 2012, the body of whistleblower Alexander Peripolichny was found near his luxury home outside of London. British police ruled out foul play, despite evidence that traces of a rare and deadly poison were found in his stomach. And it has returned a verdict of natural causes. Another opposition activist, Vladimir Karamurza, believed he was poisoned in 2015 and 17. A German laboratory later found elevated levels of mercury, copper, manganese and zinc. I have absolutely no doubt that this was an attempt to kill because when doctors tell you you had a 5% chance to live after this, that's not how they scare you, that's how they're trying to kill you with such a percentage. And of course, the case of Sergei Skripal in 2018, the former Russian double agent who passed secrets to British intelligence. He and his daughter were taken to hospital in critical condition in the town of Salisbury, England, but survived. They were poisoned by Novichok, a group of nerve agents developed by the Soviet military. Russia denied any involvement in all of the incidents.